to you and welcome back to another weekend vlog. So I am midway getting, uh, getting, doing my makeup and it is early Friday morning. It's like five something right now. So I'm getting ready to go to campus. If you're new here, I am a clinical assistant professor with a school of pharmacy. So I spend time at um, clinic and then also lecturing as well. So this is actually, if you've been following along, if you've been following along, you've been liking my videos, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to me and you wanna be subscribed or see me more, subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, thanks girl. Okay, so if you've been following along, you know that I started a new job. So um, my job is still kind of the same, but just a little bit different from what it was before. Um, I'll talk about that a little bit later because I'm not running behind, but also I don't wanna be late. So yes, yeah, so um, I'm getting ready to go lecture. So I am teaching a course for first year pharmacy students and who are in their uh, doctorate of pharmacy program. Okay, so um, in this course, they learn basically practice reading. It's like the professional stuff. So um, how to make like a note for a patient. They're gonna learn how to do patient counseling, like those like kind of basic soft skills. Um, and it's not like a therapeutic class where you learn um, about like disease states, you know, thoroughly. So it's not that, it's more so those soft skills, like um, basically, basically bedside etiquette, you know, be, be a kind person, <laughs> um, health literacy, and there's also some professionalism as well. So today I'm gonna to talk about different pharmacy career pathways. I have a video for students who are pharmacy students or anybody who's interested to learn about the different pharmacy career pathways, just look at my um, career pharmacy career pathway or my pharmacy playlist and then scroll all the way down. So I'm using the Nora's Creamy Concealer and I opened up the bottle and took the top out because there was like, oh, what was that? Okay. The lighting just, I don't know if it changed for y'all, but it definitely changed for me. But this is, I took out the inner middle tube thingy to get more product out, but I'm going to buy some later, like a new one. I hope, I hope to make it to Sephora, we'll see. But yeah, I'm really excited about this course. I'm really excited to begin um, lecture. So, yeah. So, uh, last week or early this week on Monday was my birthday. And I really enjoyed my birthday weekend. The lighting looks so much better. I don't know what happened. Maybe it was on mine. I don't know if y'all could tell. But um, I had such a great birth their birthday weekend. And I'm still kind of celebrating. <laughs> Um, and I just want to thank everybody who wished me a happy birthday. I mean, I feel so loved and thank you all for your kindness and like kindness really means a lot to me. I'm all dressed up and ready to go. I'm wearing all black today. I'm trying to get all this lint off my shirt. So I'm just wearing a simple black t-shirt from H&M because it's going to be kind of warm. Okay. And um, my pants are from Zara. Y'all see these before. Y'all can see them in the um, mirror too, but let me bring y'all down a little bit. And then I'm going to wear um, my bag from Calpac. So, yeah. 
So I'm just gonna bring my whole bag to my lecture room just in case I need stuff because my lecture is three hours long, y'all. Girl, three hours. So we have uh, scheduled two scheduled breaks. Like every 50 minutes we'll have a break. So I'm just gonna bring all my stuff with me because who knows what I'll need. Three, three hours, you know, it's not like a typical, you know, your regular 50 minute class or something like that. I have on my fave Lorade shoes. Yeah, the platforms are really comfortable. And I like to walk around a lot when lecturing. The thing is, I don't have an iPad. Like at my other institution, I had an iPad because I'm a um, certified Apple teacher where I know how to use features and, and blah, blah, blah. So I really like lecturing off my iPad, but I don't have an iPad yet. So I'm going to be lecturing from a desktop and I'm hoping like I don't have to stand near. And the thing is, I don't, my clicker thing I lost. So hopefully they have something there. I can't, like I can't, this morning I realized that I don't have my clicker. I lost like um, the thing that goes in the laptop for it. Or you plug it into computer like it's a usb that's like a bluetooth blah, blah, blah. the basic good part i need to connect it i'm putting on the blueberry um blueberry burberry scent got this for my birthday it smells so good it's giving my gucci a run for its money and i really love how it comes out in that mist like girl this is like coming out just like a um like albuterol inhaler. But yeah, so if I don't have the clicker, I'm basically gonna have to go back and forth because I just walk around so much. Um, and I use my hands a lot too. I do, I walk around a ton in class. So fingers crossed, there is a clicker there. Good morning. Good morning. You all are not playing. You're going to be on time today. I'm back home, y'all. So I have a training that I have to do that's virtual. But, y'all, I lectured this morning. This was my first time lecturing for three hours straight without, like, cases and, and stuff like that. So I was literally talking for three hours with two 10-minute breaks in between. But I feel like I went really well. I enjoyed the course. I would say I am exhausted from talking, so I'm going to be quiet for a bit. But I just wanted to check in with y'all. Now I'll decompress while I listen to this training. I got way too much stuff to try on in Zara. But here's the fit of the day. I came and expressed to see if I can find something business casual for an event I'm going to. Oh my gosh, I haven't had a pinstripe suit since like high school. This looks so good. This is a cute top and they have a cell phone on right now. I got a large and medium blazer and then a 10 and a 12 pants. So hopefully something fits and it looks good. So this is the medium blazer and the 10 and the pants. I feel like it's pretty cute. I may go for the large blazer. That's what it looks like unbuttoned. And it's actually a little bit more comfortable unbuttoned than the first time I under arms. I just walked into Macy's and look how freaking cute these shoes are. These are netting girl. They are too cute. Oh my goodness, should I buy these? Let me see how much they are. Okay, $59. That's not bad. Too cute. Y'all know why I'm here. For this. Hello. 
I just got a wax and I want to try this out for ingrown hair. I'll let y'all know how it goes. It's very sensitive skin. I also heard that this setting power was good, a little bit less drying than Fenty. Um, so we'll see. I'm gonna get it sweet honey. So that's the color. Getting a, another biscuit and our spray cream concealer. Good morning, y'all. Happy Saturday. So. I had to rush out the house because I was able to secure and move it to get um, to move my sofa to FedEx because FedEx didn't pick my sofa up five times, y'all. Like five times. That's frustrating. But yeah, the sofa that I've been trying to return um, to Walmart. So I ended up getting someone from Thumbtack to deliver it, and now I'm about to go in here and meet him. One sec. It's a sofa that FedEx is from Walmart and FedEx was supposed to pick it up five times but no one ever came. So I had to pay someone additional funds like $150 just for them to bring it here. So it's very upsetting. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Yeah. FedEx was supposed to pick it up for you? Five times. I scheduled a pickup five times. Hey y'all, y'all are currently in a box. So I stepped out of FedEx because there was music playing there and I didn't want to get copyrighted. But these are, um, I'm also, I'm returning the sofa, but I'm also returning the shoes. So these shoes are from Farfetch. Y'all, y'all know these shoes. These are the gold sandals that I got. Aren't they so gorgeous? But look, something happened where um, there's peeling here. So I end up getting new ones, like new ones. But um, I just have to return these ones because I've already got some new ones. And so I called that at uh, Four Fashion. I was like, does this happen with these shoes? Like, is there a complaint about this? And the lady was like, the representative, she said, no, we haven't heard of anything like this happening to these shoes. And I said, well, are the shoes like, um, like not real or something like that? Because that's what I was so afraid of. And she says, no, just sometimes there may be faulty faulty items and I said okay but it's so easy um once I uh, they scan this for return they're going to give me a refund for my money but I already got a replacement for these shoes already so that's why if y'all see my like Instagram reels and stuff like that I'm wearing them it's because I bought another pair but yeah I was just wanted to tell y'all Here's the other shoe right there. And I wore these like walking in the museum when it was a hot day. So I don't know if my sweat or something rubbed it off, but it hasn't happened on the new shoes I have. So hopefully it doesn't happen a second time. Okay, I did all that I needed to do. So with the shoes, they're currently um, they're, I guess, hard to find now. And so even on Farfetch, they couldn't even provide me with um, the same shoes because they didn't have my specific size. They only had like a smaller size. And so they did give me a discount, um, like a coupon for me to buy something, you know, else whenever I want to. So y'all, I, I end up getting the shoes from um, a consignment store. I can't remember what it was called, but basically one of those luxury stores where they sell like unused or like new stuff like that. So I've never um, did that before. So this is my first time. And what I really liked was at the bottom of the sh they took a picture of the bottom of the shoes because they described it as shoes that were never worn and it still came in a box and everything and so when i um, looked at the image on the website it was no the they showed the bottom of the shoes and they were never worn like the bottoms of these shoes it's very evident if you have wore them because they're kind of like um i don't know I don't even know how to tell you 
but even after me wearing them one time, it was very evident that I wore them. So when I seen that, I said, okay, I trust them. <laughs> so I ended up getting the shoes off a of consignment store. So hopefully they work out well. I mean, I'm enjoying them, so no complaints as of yet. This is my first time buying something like this on a website like that. Um, you know, they usually have like Louis Gucci products, stuff like that. I don't know. I guess I would be a little bit apprehensive because I'm, af I'm afraid of it not being authentic, but I felt comfortable because the brand is, um, I could be wrong y'all, but this brand and these shoes, I don't think there's anybody out there trying to make like copycat of these shoes and we're uh, compared to like gucci louis prada bags and like you know chanel bags like nobody's trying to make a copycat of these particular shoes so that's why i, I felt comfortable and then also because i've seen the bottom of the shoe so let me show y'all the bottom of the shoe since i have it here so see how it's like gray and stuff on the edges and and stuff like that and it's because it's like um i don't want to say a pad but it's like a little soft actually it's hard you know gotta wipe the hair but um yeah like you can tell i worn it and these scuffs happen after the first day i wore these shoes so when I seen the website and they didn't have not one scratch on there, and when I seen them, um, when I opened a box, not one scratch, it came with the dust. Everything that my shoes came with, it felt like I was reopening my brand new shoes again. And so I feel really good about them. Um, let me know, do, do, have y'all had any experiences with consignment shopping? I know a lot of people buy bags on there. I probably won't buy shoes often, but these shoes I felt a little bit more comfortable because it was, uh, was never worn, but also this is like a material that you can literally take soap and wash it. Like you can take laundry detergent and wash it for like, um, sanitary reasons. But I do understand that people do buy shoes and definitely pur purses. I know a lot of people buy a lot of purses and clothes. Anywho, I'm talking enough. Let's go. Today, drain me. And it's still the morning time. I need to go grocery shopping, but I'm literally too exhausted to do that right now. So I'm going to just get exactly what I need. Like I definitely need a toilet paper, so that's what I got. And then I also want those vegan meatballs. So let's see if I can find them. So I couldn't find the meatballs and I gave up. So all I went in there and got was toilet paper. Um, Y'all, I really haven't found a grocery store that I really feel good at or good in yet. I miss my grocery store from back home. Well, my old home in Syracuse. It's a really hot day. So I decided to go get a drink. Because that's what I'm kind of, I'm, I'm craving like, a fruity type of drink so i wanted to get boba when i wanted to try like a something different i usually get like a regular black tea milk boba um oolong tea milk boba one time i got rose tea or maybe twice i got ro twice i got rose tea milk boba and that was really really good so i went to this place um a restaurant but then it has a boba shop inside the restaurant so i went to the boba shop inside of the restaurant and I got two drinks. So this one is to, uh, I, cause I want, still wanted milk boba, but I still wanted a fruity drink. So I got both. This is the rose. Oh, got a piece of hair on there. This is the rose, um, Lebanese rose milk tea with boba. So yeah. 
And then this is the mango tango. So it's mango and then it has like jellies in there. I can't remember, but then I think this is actual pieces of mango. So that's what I want to drink right now. I did not realize it was supposed to be this hot today. Like my car says 93 degrees. This is it. So you shake it all up. Hopefully I don't get this everywhere. Girl. Okay. I'd be so scary. Okay. Mm. It's good. Mm. Oh. Hopefully I didn't spill anything. But this is good. They say it's like lightly sweet. So, okay, so if me, I'm used to having sugar-free things and like lightly sweet things. So this to me is not lightly sweet, but for someone who drinks like a lot of sugary drinks, like I don't drink like juice or for real pop. Like I drink diet ginger ale. So for me, this is sweet. So I would probably, next time I get this, I probably would get like 50% sweet because I usually get that on all of my boba drinks. But today I just said the name. It's good though. Hmm. Very refreshing. I'm gonna put this one in the, uh... so I guess this doesn't come with ice in it, but it's cold. Because I don't think the ice melt. But the boba tea clearly has ice in it. So maybe it doesn't come with ice. Regardless if it comes with ice or not, it's still cold. So I'm about to go home. I got my toilet paper. That's all I needed. I'm not really certain what I'm going to eat later. I may actually just go somewhere. And I'll just eat out. And then tomorrow I'll worry about food. <laughs> I got some new bedding from West Elm, so I'm about to make my bed. So I got this super cute um, sheet set from West Elms. This, they have so many different options regarding sheet, but this sheet set, this is called the, I don't think that's what it's called. Okay, this is what it's called. It's called Tinsel Model. That's what it is, like that's the fabric. And um, this is the cream color. I believe it's cream or it was white. What is it? It's white, but it looks like a little bit cream in the middle of cream and white. But it's like st stretchy and it feels so good, like so soft. I can't wait to sleep on it. So it came with a fitted sheet and then it has this, whatever sheet goes on top of this fitted sheet. But y'all, it kind of reminds me of a little bit of jersey material, but it's not jersey material, but it feels so soft. I love the color. Then I got a duvet cover or duvet. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> This is the duvet, du, duvet cover in, it's linen and natural flax is the color. This is color close up. It's, it's very neutral, what I was going for. On my bed, underneath all my sheets, I still have the mattress topper and pad from Target that I got a while back and it's so comfortable I won't sleep out without both of them on my bed they make my bed feel so good so I also got another down or twin oh okay, okay. it's full slash queen I'm gonna say this won't fit so I also got a down alternative comforter. This is from Bed Bath & Beyond online. 
and I'm going to use this as my insert for my duvet and I have another one that I used previously um, but this is a little bit more fluffier because I, I looked at the reviews and they said that people use it as a duvet and not just a comforter and it was really fluffy and that's what I was looking for because my the one that I was using using prior um, is like thin not as fluffy so let's see how big this is because some people were saying it was kind of small which way did it go bed is hanging almost to the floor on this side of the bed it's halfway between the bed the top of the bed and the floor so yeah I think it's fine good y'all I've been like striving for my bed to feel how I feel when I go to a hotel like when I stay in a nice hotel and the bed just feels so good like this is what I'm feeling right now like I'm loving this feeling happy Sunday so I'm getting ready to run some errands so I'm all dressed up and ready to go. I have this top on that I got a while ago from Zara. If I can find it, I'll link it below. But it's, I got it like a while ago. Um, earlier in the summer, I believe it was the summer. And then my leggings, these are my favorite all time leggings from Amazon. I'll link them and then I have my Lorale, um heels on. So I wanted to try this gloss that I got as a sample. Turn my flattener off. I just put on lotion so my hands are kind of slippery. <sighs> okay, so I got my, got this sample from Sephora's, the Fenty Beauty, Fenty Glow 01. So it's the Gloss Balm Universal Lip Lum uh, Luminizer Fenty Glow 01. It's a really pretty color. I have nothing on my lips right now. Mmm, smells good. It smells like candy. The formula is thick. Just a little shine and a little sparkly in there. It's cute. Okay, so um, which other? Oh, why am I putting it in here? I need to put it in my purse. What y'all think? Y'all like it? I'm really into clear glosses, like, and it's crazy how there's so many different clear glosses that make your lips look different. As y'all know, my most favorite right now. If y'all seen my clear gloss video, y'all know it is the Patrick Ta Full Syringe Lip Plumper because I really like how this color makes my natural um, lip color look. Like, it looks so good. But this looks good. This is cute. Okay, girl. I like this gloss. Okay, and then I'm going to put on this blazer because I'm going to the grocery store. And y'all know it'd be cold in the grocery store. So I'm going to wear this for the grocery store. And then, so y'all know I'll be taking my glasses on and off. 
I'm gonna put this, I gotta get me a wipe so my glasses stay clean. And then my glasses container. So, I love these glasses. I got them from America Best. And this is the brand. Can y'all see that? That's the brand. So I'll put my glasses cleaner in there. And then this is the look. Very chill. Sunday going errands, you know? And then what you could do, so this is a, what I've been doing for a while because I don't really wear sunglasses. Um, I guess I just don't want anything on my face. Like, you know, like accessories. Um, Cause I would just be too fishy on my face. So what I do is I actually wear sunglasses on the top of my head because it remind, it's like, it reminds me of a headband. And I think that look is so cute with the sunglasses up there. I don't know why I like that look, but I really, I prefer sunglasses on my head instead of on my face, but I think it's so cute. Let me know down below. Do y'all be wearing y'all sunglasses like this? Like, ah, could you imagine eating brunch and you're like, mmm, food's so good. And you're looking cute. Got your sunglasses up here. Everybody can see your pretty face. Like, it's so good. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I'm at the seamstress that I found online trying to get the dress taken in. And also this black leather skirt that I wore a while ago from Zara taken in. And sadly she says she couldn't do it because she does like bridal wear. And her wear is like, you know, dresses are thin and this is like thick material in the leather. So I have to find somewhere else. I really, really need to find, find a seamstress. It's so funny because she was like, okay the dress is the size for your hip but not for like your waist because you have you know the curvy body and i'm like yeah like that's the issue with all of my clothing like the waist is pretty usually pretty small i mean pretty big because so i have to get stuff over my behind so i really need to find a seamstress like face that but she was very very sweet so um if i had bridal wear i would go there but she said her needle that she has doesn't really go through leather and denim so if you have any recommendations for a seamstress in the dmv area let me know um i'm just gonna look on the internet and see if i can find somewhere else <laughs> Happy Monday. So I'm getting ready to go to campus. I have um, a few meetings today. And then I also want to um, finish a lecture that I have to um, complete. Well, that I want to complete by this week. And I have my schedule of things I want to do so y'all I'm trying out this powder from one size I typically use the Fenty powder um, this is the banana color in the pro filter for under my eye but I seen this TikTok and someone was like showing their most favorite um, and the young lady showed this one about one size I got the color on sweet honey and she said this was less um, less drying so I'm gonna try it 
because y'all know I have dry, sensitive, eczema prone skin. Okay. Woo! It comes with this sticky filter with, um, like this over top of the holes, which I really like. Okay. Girl, I'm not trying to, how should I shake it out? Because I don't want it to get, it get everywhere. So it has this little clothes thing, which I like. Or should I, because even when I, should I do this? Duh, that wasn't going to work because this is going to hold it in. Okay, but I don't want like too much to come out. Girl. <laughs> so I'm tapping it so a little bit can come out. Okay. So that's the color and I'm going to take these little triangle, a triangle pad. So I got this from Amazon. It is linked in my Amazon storefront. You could just even like put in the search bar for an Amazon storefront triangle makeup pad. Okay, so the color's cute. I'm just struggling, trying to figure out getting it out of this thing. Cause I want it to be flat, but every time I shake it to be flat, it goes back in a hole. Okay. All right, so I like to pat it on my towel. Cause I always have like a towel that I use when I'm doing my makeup, just to have something to wipe stuff off of. Okay, so I'm gonna pat a little bit. I don't use a lot of powder because Oh no, the dry skin. So I really only use a little bit. Wow, that blended so easily. Hmm. Poor guy. Has a piece of hair. Okay, no, I didn't, I guess. Well, that was very easy to blend out. Wow, it looks beautiful. So they had one shade that was darker, one shade that was lighter, and then translucent. One, two, three, four. Yeah. No, it was one shade that was darker. There was a pink shade and then translucent. Translucent. Y'all, it looks beautiful. And my skin doesn't feel heavy after putting it on. Wow, that blended very like easily. Put that back on. It looks good, y'all. What y'all think? These are the meatballs, y'all. They're, let's see. Beyond, that's the brand. Then I got this pasta. I'm making lunch for work. I got this pasta from um, Whole Foods. Just bow tie, I got some zucchini in there. It has a red onion, a little feta, and I'm gonna smash it all in this um, small container. I wish I had, I wish this had more zucchini in it. Oh, it also has olives in there too. It's like, oh, and artichokes. It's pretty good. Celsius. I only drink one Celsius a day. Then I have my 40 ounces of water. 
for work in my Keurig. But how cute is this, y'all? It's from Starbucks. I'm all dressed up and ready to go. I'm trying to figure out if I wanted to wear a headband or not, but I may wear the headband. But let me just go through the outfit real quick. So I got this um, linen top on from Zara that I literally just got. This is the, so I remember I got this in a small. Yeah, so I'm gonna show y'all the tag. So if y'all wanna screenshot it, can y'all see it? It's a light matter. Okay. That's the screenshot for the tag. And while I have the light off, I'm going to show y'all the screenshot for the pants, too. So I got them in a size 10. Is that okay? Okay. So if I can find them, I'll link them in the description box. But sometimes if you can. Actually, it's a little bit more challenging to find stuff on H&M, not Zara. So I should be able to find it on Zara and I'll link them in the description box. If it's not there, um, try to use the QR code. But I got this top. This is actually in a small. And then I got the um, pants in a size 10. And the pants actually, wait, is it a size 10 or 12? Okay, US 10. And they actually fit pretty good. So they are very high-waisted. Let me just show y'all. They are very high-waisted and they're wide leg and they stop right at the floor. I do have on my heels from Gia. But I really like how they flare out. Like I think that's so cute and they have an unfinished hem at the bottom which gives it a little bit edge. And then the pants actually fit pretty good. There is like this tiny gapping hair on the, my waist up here, but back hair is fine. So I think I'm just gonna let it slide. Like I'm gonna let it slide. And then the shirt is like pretty long. I'm gonna wear it like this. Ah! And then I have my bag and then my work bag that I've been wearing all the time. It's so cute. And then the scent for today, I'm gonna to wear Baccarat. Here it is. I really like this scent a lot. I'm so happy about this. I would have never chosen this scent for myself. Cause honestly, I don't even know where to buy this from. Saks or something? Because most of my scents, well, all of my scents, I got from Sephora. So this, I would have never come across this because I never go to like department stores to find scents. I actually don't shop at department stores often. Okay, that's, that's the one thing. My skin takes some time for it to absorb the perfume and that's why it's always like dewy hair and on my wrist because my and just take some time for it to absorb it. Okay, so I kind of like the way that it looks without a headband on. Very clean, girl. But then the headband adds a little pizzazz. Okay. I may wear, I may not. I need to wash my hair too. Actually, I'm gonna wear the headband because it's so, it is cute, it is cute. Okay, let me give y'all a full look and then we'll be on our way. This look, so cute, okay. Let me go before I'm late. Thanks y'all for watching this video. You made it to the end. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to if you're not subscribed to me, <laughs> subscribe to me if you want to see more of me. And if you are subscribed, thanks, girl. And I catch y'all in the next one. Peace and love.